Preparing and Testing Your Technology This section will cover setting up your technology for a great presentation, but even a great presentation can be challenged by technical issues. Checking your technology in advance can help minimize some of those issues. Setting up equipment for in-person presentations. In-person presentations often involve technology, and you may not have a say in what is available to you. You may have a projector and a computer showing your visual aids to your audience, or you may be presenting in a high flex space with multiple cameras and microphones and an audience attending both in person and virtually. Anticipating and preparing for various situations will help you navigate technical issues with ease. In general, there are four tech aspects to in person presenting that you should pay attention to. Number one, check the tech. If you can, Check out the space for yourself so you know what technology is in the room you are presenting in. Can you bring your own laptop, or is there a computer already there? If you're using tech like a microphone or a smart pointer, will you be able to connect them? How do you project to the screen? And more. Number two, accessing your content. How will you access your presentation? Options include emailing the file to yourself, using a USB drive, using Google Drive or OneDrive, using the file directly from your computer, or your instructor may ask you to email it to them. It is always best to prepare multiple methods of access, just in case. Number three, compatibility. Confirm your presentation will work with the technology. You do not want to use software or hardware that is incompatible. For example, do not use Apple's Keynote if you'll be using a PC. Browser-based tools such as Google Slides, Canva, Kahoot, Mentimeter, and Prezi are good bets as they do not rely on installed software. Number four, check the lighting. Will any windows in the space impact your presentation, making it difficult to read? Will people in the back of the room be able to read and see everything on the screens, even with the overhead lighting? Are you able to turn the lights down or close the blinds? Setting up equipment for online presentations. Online presentations can pose a whole different set of potential problems. While with in-person presentations, you may be dealing with an unfamiliar space and different technology, at least you can count on everyone being able to see and hear you because you're all in the same room. You are likely giving your presentation from the comfort of your own home. And while your home serves as your sanctuary, it may not naturally be conducive to giving a professional looking presentation. You'll want to avoid anything that might distract the audience from your presentation. This means having a good camera angle, flattering lighting, a clean background, a quiet space, and a working microphone. Number one, cameras. Try to position your camera at eye level. This will allow for a good camera angle that shows your entire face. You can use a riser or a stand, or you can use sturdy objects like books or boxes. If you're using a phone or tablet, a tripod or a stand may help keep your camera steady. Be sure that whatever you use is stable, so your camera or device does not shift or fall. It may feel more natural to look at your screen or keyboard, but looking directly at the camera will give you the opportunity to make eye contact with your audience. Rehearsing your presentation will help, so you can feel confident and will not need to spend as much time reading from notes or off the screen. Number two, lighting. Natural light coming in through a window can be very effective. Avoid sitting directly in front of a window, as it may make you harder to see. Having a light shining from in front of you or from an angle can be more flattering. If your room does not have a window or other sources of natural light, you can use lamps. You can try turning your desk lamp so it faces an opposing wall to bounce light onto your face. Number three, space and background. Avoid having a cluttered background behind you. The ideal is to find a solid background to film in front of, but if that's not possible, make sure the area behind you is neat. You may wish to close any doors behind you. Some video conferencing software will allow you to change your background to a digital image. If you do change your background, make sure it's appropriate for the tone of your presentation and that it's not distracting. Try to limit background noise during your presentation. This may mean turning off or moving away from fans or muting your devices. Number four, microphones. Your microphone is key to your online presentation, so you need to make sure it is working as intended ahead of time. Here's what to consider when it comes to your mic. 
use an external microphone. The built-in microphone on your computer may pick up other sounds in the room. Consider using an external mic, like a headset, to give a clearer sound. Microphone position. If possible, position your microphone near but not too close to your mouth. With a headset, aim to have the microphone slightly above or below your mouth. Test your microphone. Test with another person or record yourself to make sure your voice is coming through on your microphone. Video conferencing software will often have an audio test feature or may allow you to record your session to test for sound quality. If you do use an external microphone, check that your video conferencing software is using it over your computer's internal microphone.